Hi there, I'm Dr. Jim. I have a good topic and a head cold. Bad combination, maybe, but I've got some tea with me and I really do want to get through this with you because I think a lot about leadership, trends in leadership, what's important about leadership, the most effective types of leadership, and how we really do need it um, in any business that we're running. But since I'm in senior care, health care, um, I, I believe that it's essential, 100% essential. And my topic then today is nine leadership trends to embrace today. I wrote a, a lengthy article, it's very detailed, please read it if you can, but I do want to give you the highlights. And one of the, the reasons I wrote about trends is because everything's changing. Everything is changing. Society is changing. Culture is changing. People are changing. Generations are changing. And in order to be on top of all of that change, we have to roll with what's going on. We have to know what's trending. We have to know how to resonate with people, how to motivate different generations. And because of this hyper-accelerated change, we need to know what is most important and what is most crucial in terms of leadership today. So I have nine trends that I think we all need to embrace right now. Trend number one is continual learning. And I've been a big fan of this for decades. Uh, I'm a nerd and I love to read and read and read and read. But as a gerontologist, I strongly feel that I need to know as much as I can about the entire senior care industry, every nook and cranny, from neurodegenerative diseases to late life schizophrenia to skilled care, home health, hospice, and everything in between, as well as these professional development types of topics. So you have to continue to learn, lifelong learner, that's what great leaders do, okay? Number two, increase your adaptability. Great leaders are not rigid. They are extremely flexible and adaptable to meet whatever challenges come their way. One size does not fit all when it comes to, this is my leadership style and I'm not gonna be flexible with it as I face these current issues and problems. It doesn't work like that. Adaptability is important. Number three is be prepared for the best and um, hope for the best, but be prepared for the worst. I think the pandemic hopefully has taught us many lessons about being prepared for such a terrible event to occur again. Um, but any type of disaster, putting the pandemic to the side, um, you know, fires, natural disasters, acts of violence, accidents within the building. We just have to be prepared for whatever comes our way as a leader. Number four, and this is something I've always believed in, um, I mean really believed in, is trust. Leaders must get their, their team to genuinely trust them. Trust is a must. No one is gonna follow a leader anywhere that they do not trust. Number five, we are living in some pretty fast times. So today's leader has to deliver better and faster. Chop, chop, move it along, make sure the quality is very high but we live in such a high-tech world. If I want to order something and do something, I want it now. I want instant results. Many people do. In healthcare, that is a little trickier. In senior care, it is as well. But I think the point here is deliver high quality, but faster and better. Okay. Number six, everyone should possess hard skills how to do their job. A great leader is now working on their own soft skills. They're also helping their team members to develop better soft skills like emotional intelligence and communication, 
likability, working as a team, things like, so you could have an expert do superior work, but they're a terrible team member because they don't get along with people, they don't know how to communicate, they can't read the temperature of the room, so to speak. So developing soft skills is a big trend right now. Number seven, so is talent management. Take that individual, you can train them to do their work, but you want to manage their talent. This involves helping employees to develop skills necessary for them to be successful. And let's face it, the more successful they are, the more successful you are as a leader. <coughs> I knew that was coming here. Hang on. Oh, head cold time, Northeast Ohio. Don't you love it? So talent management, this also involves shaping employees socially, emotionally, and cognitively. Look into that, that is great, great stuff. And helping to shape someone in their career, I think is a great thing to offer. Trend number eight, managing multiple generations. Yep, they're here. Some, some workplaces have four generations of individuals. Others have five generations of people working with them now. You have the traditionalists, the baby boomers, Gen X, millennials, and Gen Z, all with different opinions and attitudes, different communication styles, different ways of relating to people, and you have to lead them all. Isn't that interesting? And then number nine, and this is a trend that I was not completely aware of until I did my research team-based leadership. There are lots of companies out there that are moving away from the one leader model because doing everything, having great skill in all these different areas is probably just too unrealistic. A better model might be here is a leadership team and they all have equal power and control and decision-making input. So team-based leadership may be coming to a workplace near you. So those are my 10, no, those are my nine trends in leadership today that I think we need to embrace pretty soon. So stay in touch with me, please. Um, visit my websites, collinslearning.com, ceu.academy, and my blog, drjimcollins.com. My email address is jim at collinslearning.com. That's the easiest one. So stay in touch. Let me know um, if you have any information or would like to share something about leadership or any other topic. I would love to hear from you. Take care.